say that anymore. But the way these two guys play with my shirt, it still look top tier. Okay, Ryoko with Eddie's and losers with guns is in winners. Round one. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, guns really going for the legs. All these sweeps. Ooh, look at that. They're really scared to press a button, but if you don't move, they will call stuff like that. Silent entry setup. Ooh, cross jab to stop the stop the aggressiveness. Just trying to take him away to last little bits of help. Cross jab mids. Smart stuff. Fight. Eddie starting with the one two jump kick. Oh, and he knew it was coming and did the Orville Hill. Oh man, that's good. That would have been a terrible wall splat. Eddie actually has really good defense. He's playing it safe, needs to move around more, but not trying to get caught by these little silent entry openers. Both players playing really safe right now, not trying to throw anything crazy out. Of course, Eddie just goes into fucking backflip mid, ends the round. Got large 4-4-4-3. Four, 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 Push him all the way to the wall. Uh, he almost had a nice wall carry combo. He ends the round anyways. Oh, he tried it with the tech trap jump set up. <laughs> Guns like opening the round really strong. Eddie really not taking any big risks outside of blocking and throwing little poke strings, but his fang all slowly but surely gets a sweep. He has him against the wall so he doesn't get a real combo, but just one more hit. Oh my god. Ah, he keeps ducking and landing into Oh my gosh. Rage art. I think that Eddie was panicking just a little bit. Like he's trying not to make any big moves and I understand why. But at the same time. If he just sits there and keeps taking these mids and the silent entries. Figured I'd give you some company. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it, appreciate it. What's going on, bro? Nothing much, man. So Gunslinger takes first game. Two more and he wins the tournament. You don't, you hear about tur tournament nerves. Oh, yeah, of but course. But you, you don't know until you're up there. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's not. crazy. It's like playing a match on the ground floor is, like, bad enough for yeah, most people. Yeah, it's like relax. It's like you're at the arcade, Yeah, right? yeah, you know. <laughs> but when you're up on stage and you know you're on stream, like, it really gets to you. Shaking, yeah. It makes you play completely different. It's not even just yeah, the nerves. It literally affects your mental. Yeah, right. And Tekken in particular, you know, it's always a toss-up, like, what side you're going to get because you're always a little bit worse on one side. Yeah, that's you know, true. So you know, most people, you know, have been playing on player one side their whole yeah, life. Exactly. So you get on player two side and it, it messes with you a little Especially bit. Especially in this game where it lets you choose. Oh, yeah, yeah, You definitely. always want to play on one player side. It's a trap. Yeah. Get ready for the next with some characters, like uh, technical characters like Brian and, and Nina and stuff, and people that really have to use a lot of movement. And like Eddie, to be honest, another one. Oh, I had oh no but he Swiss characters. He Swiss tell us. Okay. Yeah, I was playing as Elisa a little bit uh, before. It's oh, okay. Yeah, the large players taking it like, like – for all the defensiveness that Ryoka is playing at, like Lars is doing the exact opposite. He's going in. He knows. He knows. He knows his frames. He knows when to frame trap, when you're gonna press buttons and things like that. It's very intimidating. Didn't even try to sidestep it. Just a straight up four one plus two. That was so deep. Out the slide. Oh man, that's the second time he's high crust. He's jazzed with that. He's looking for Such it. Such good corner carry. Orbital heal, thank you a trade so he didn't get the combo. Oh man, he has him at the wall. He wants to keep yeah, him there, try to get that wall break, but... Get his way out. 
Mars with the movement. Thinks it's all sidestep. Round two. Fight. They both start with big moves and trades. Lars with the sidesteps is down for one to really okay, messing up Ryoko's game plan. Ah, 4 4 3. No. Got a block, though. Crush? Oh, you got the knock. He had a plus frame if he didn't do anything with it, though. He's looking for him to spaz out and counter attack. He sidestep. Nothing happened. He's been switching between so many characters. He's probably getting back into the groove you know, oh, of playing yeah. all the different ones. I got you. I don't know, this is looking a lot worse than Eddie to me. I don't know, man. I had a full combo. I can see him going back to Eddie after Yeah, this. definitely. And Lars, like, Gunslinger knows the Alyssa string so well. Exactly. He's either ducking or just outright pushing a bunch Yeah, he hasn't pushes. fell for a single one, two, not, two. Not yeah. even one. He, he knows his string. Oh, man. That was a, a very vindictive <laughs> game, too, from my man Gunslinger. He's looking bad. I think, I, I think he needs to go back to Eddie. Definitely. Like, it's, it's cool if you I know how to play a lot of characters, but you can clearly see which one's more effective. With that, that was looking a little rough. You know, just like me, he's probably feeling the nerves, too. It's yeah, definitely. the first time on stage. We were talking a lot about it. Oh, yeah. yeah it's a little good to you. Like, I've been coming to Xanadu for, like, seven, seven to six years, and... Every time I play a tournament match, I still have terrible nerves. Like it is just it's a constant. You have to beat it though. That's that's part of the fun of playing competitively is beating your own nerves. Yeah, it's and, a and really to do good that, feeling. You, gotta, you know, you gotta come out, you gotta do yeah, it. You gotta come out constantly, you gotta practice, you gotta really play against people, not just stay at home, you know. Right. Practicing all the time. You gotta get the real experience. Oh, and he goes with Steve. Okay, so he picks Steve. Now I like this because this guy throws a lot of high strings because He's been too defensive, but Steve, you know, sways and ducks yeah. and all the counter hit setups that hopefully he knows. Very evasive character. I definitely like this over Eddie if he knows what he's doing. Round one. Fight. That's such a good low. It is. He's trying to, okay, he's trying to bait him with the one, two, yeah. three into different options, which is really good. Oh man, sidestep. Oh, it's uh, it's going to take him to the wall. Oh, no, he drops it. Oh no. God, he's just chopping him. Every time he counterattacks, he gets hit with a cross jab. He knows when to press buttons. He knows that Steve is going to want to press buttons, and he's capitalizing on that. Steve is a low press to start. Start lowering his offensive options. Very nice. Oh. Starting this round really well. Gunslinger like keeping up the pressure. Now's a nice punish. Good stuff. Gunslinger are very good at getting out of the ball. Sidestepping. Yeah, he's using a lot more movement. Like, Ryoka's only moving back and forth. Gunslinger is moving all around us. Yeah. Oh, using that 3D heels. movement in this 3D game, you know. KO. Didn't even need the rest of the combo, man. Round and this is a uh, tournament, tournament point. point. Okay, because oh, oh, yeah. he, he, he can make his way out of the wall. It's a very bad position. Side step, right side step to the left. He'd be good. Oh, back four into the grab. Oh, and he's gonna get a follow up after this. Yeah. Get a full combo from there. Oh. And this could be it. Oh, oh break. Okay, break. man, he has the tension. There's only so many floors. Ah, <laughs> uh, he tries to go for the grab. And Gunslinger takes the tournament. Very convincing. Very convincing. <laughs>